Here's a neat trick I got from an ad in a magazine for a popular TV show. With uh, The TV show's got Mr. Donald Trump in it, so you can probably guess which one it is. But it had a person that uh, was enclosed, but there was no person there. So it was kind of ghosted, if you will. And I just thought it was a neat thing to try to recreate here. Uh, it's, and you, I tell you what, you learn a ton about cloning and brushing and, uh, and ingredients and things to kind of help uh, make something like this a little bit more realistic. So uh, let's start off here, just double click on the background layer, click OK, and that turns it into a regular layer. And I'm gonna zoom in on just the hand down here. It's gonna probably be the hardest part, all right? And I'm gonna take my clone stamp tool and make sure I have all layers selected up in the top layers palette here. And let's create a blank layer to work on because that means that we can kind of keep it all separate. And the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, just take my quick selection tool and let's just select as much of the hand as we can here and hit the backspace or delete key and delete it. And then we'll click on that blank layer here and use that clone stamp tool. And what we want to do is just fill in uh, as much of this area as we can. So I'm just going to do some pretty large brush strokes at first and then we'll kind of hone in and clean it up in a second here. Okay. And then let's go up here and try to get some of the pocket area, knock my brush size down, and just try to continue as much of that area down as we can. It doesn't have to be all the way down, but just try to continue some of it. And let's take some of the fold from the jacket and try to continue that upward a little bit. All right. And we're not going to go all the way to the sleeve. And you'll see why in just a moment here. We don't have to go all the way to the sleeve because we're going to start to fill that in. Okay? And that looks pretty good. You can go in here and you can clone in and kind of clean some of that up. Uh, but honestly, folks, you're really not going to see it in the final image here. Uh, it's not something that we're going to be concentrating on. So you can try to go in and clone out. Here, I'll do it really quick. There's just one area that's bothering me. There we go. So that kind of looks a little bit better. Now, what I'm going to do here is grab my elliptical marquee tool and just make a elliptical selection and let's zoom in again on that area here and if you right click inside the selection and choose transform selection you can move this guy around you can rotate it and what I'm going to do is just put it right over the sleeve okay maybe even make it a little thinner alright and then you can rotate it around some more if you have to all right, and that looks pretty good. Back out a little bit, and now I'm going to take a brand new layer here. Just create a brand new blank layer. Uh, take my gradient tool and just use the default black to white gradient and just drag it straight across here. Okay? I'm going to deselect and let's back out here and take a look. So that is a start, but it's not quite what we're looking for. First of all, I can use the move tool and I can reposition it around if I need to. Okay? But it still just looks a little bit too fakey. So I grabbed the burn tool and I just came down here and I just kind of burned it in a little bit. Okay, just to kind of darken it up. Okay, and that looks a lot better. Now let's go over and take a look at the other hand here. Zoom in. And this one's going to be really easy. I'm just going to go on the original background layer. And in fact, one of the things you can do to help uh, kind of keep this organized, click on one layer, shift click on the other and just command or control E merge them all together now let's take the brush tool here I'm gonna go on my background layer here and all I'm gonna do is just paint over that with black okay we don't need any detail here this is gonna be hidden inside of that sleeve so I can get away with just painting it over and just plain black okay not always you might have to use the same a technique that I used on the other side to just grab a black and white gradient and fill it in with that make sure you do it on its own layer and that way you can kinda of blend it in but I think for this example just painting it over with black works just fine let's back out and take a look alright good so uh, we got rid of his hands now let's get rid of his head <laughs> alright uh, first we'll take the lasso tool and I'll start off here and just try to lasso as much of it as I can Okay, and I'm going to sample the background color here with the eyedropper tool, and then I'm just going to fill it in with that background color. I know there's edges around here. We're going to take care of that last. And then the next thing I'll do here is take my brush with that same background color. And you've got a couple options here. Personally, 
you could try you could try to recreate the collar going all the way around and personally uh, it, it gets a little bit too scary when you just see no head there so it's okay to have it look a little bit odd that there's no collar there because you know kind of people settle in and know that it's fake but when you have absolutely no head there it kind of looks a little too scary for me so all the ones I practiced with I wound up just going this route okay and just kind of paint in the background all right and again we're going to take care of the lines and the things that don't quite match up for the background and don't forget to use your left and right bracket keys here and that'll just get in there and resize the brush but one more time here oh, a little too much just get along the edge and there we go okay and then I can get rid of this little spot over here too all right looking good and now the last thing that we need to do here and I mentioned it earlier so uh, before I move on let me just show you you can put a little bit of a ghosted neck back there maybe try to uh, drop the opacity not of the original background layer uh, but go to this layer here maybe just create a shape inside there put a little ghosted area but honestly I think it looks fine without it the last thing that I would do here is just grab my patch tool and just go along any of these spots here and just select it with the patch tool anything with a line okay and just get rid of it all right so as you can see as I go through this I mean we're using a lot of cool techniques all right and the idea is just to try to make this look a little bit more realistic and how can we go about doing that so even if you don't find yourself uh, taking the person and making them a ghost the techniques that you use really work well for lots of different circumstances here and there's one more line I want to get rid of okay so that's one way to get rid of some of those seams inside the background and let me go ahead here turn on some text and that's basically the context in which I saw this and it was an ad uh, again it was for one of those popular TV shows and it had Donald Trump in it and uh, you know just kind of showed you you know the idea was like this could be you you know insert person here and that was the same thing I carried over to this so hope you enjoyed folks and we'll see you again next time